Hi, it's me. Uh, I'm going to do this for you now. Just a, a, a quick, sort of simple thing to do. Um, as you can see here, so it's like blues with a bit of grey and liquid liner. It's fun. I look very serious today because I've got my hair all up. One of these things. Which is weird for me because I never have my hair up. Okay, first of all, we're going to put a base on. Um, I use MAC a lot. Um, and I'm going to use this till it runs out because it's just really handy. Um, these are quite expensive. I, can't, I think this was about £15. But I kid you not, I've had it for absolute ages and ages, so it's definitely worth um, like investment in that. Okay, so the first colour we're going to use, uh, after you put your base on, is this. Oh, don't tell me I've moved it. Do you know what? I have everything here already, and I've gone and moved the blasting colour. Where have I got it? Okay, it's on the floor. Okay, right, first colour we're going to use is Moon's Reflection by MAC, which is this sort of blue here. It's a really nice colour. So you're just going to... So you're just going to get this on your brush and literally just put it all over your... Um, all over your eyelid. God, I can't think today. So you just want to put that lovingly all on your lid. Really simple. So you just get a nice base colour. I really do like using MAC products. Um, I just find the colours are really nice, the vibrancy of them. Um, and it just really works well for me. But I will get out there and try some other things because there, there are other products I want to use. Okay. I really want to try some Ben Nye as well. Okay. So after you've done that, you want to get. Oh, I absolutely love this mineral powder. It's Sea and Sky by Mac, and it's a mineral like powder. And the colours are gorgeous. As you can see on this side, you've got all the different um, colours there. So the best thing to do is always check this before you get them because then you can get one that's got a big bit of dark blue here, a big bit of light blue here because as you can see in mine, just the different colours that's just amazing so literally with this one, what you're going to do is just take that and just wipe down right? then you can just put it three quarters of the way over and just work it up a little bit above your crease and just sort of blend it across so you can see there are two and um, different colours and then obviously you just play around with it until you get it the way that you want it looking right next thing we're going to do I'm going to get my liquid liner always so low down on here I need to get one of those gorilla pods awesome ok you're just going to line these I mean, call me pedantic, but I really like to make sure I've got that sort of like just right. Okay. And then you also just want to line it under your bottom line as well. I think it's such an art for people to do this. I, I mean, I think I can like get by doing it. Not the best, but works for me. Okay, next thing you want to get. It's not that brush, I just grabbed that. Where is my blending brush? Okay, it's your blending brush, which is just poofy. And you want to get this colour here, which is silvery. It's just a nice silver look. 
that colour. Let's just stand this over. So you just want to get a bit of that. Come on, light. Thank you. And you just want to go above the crease and just bring it to the front ever so slightly. Just creates a really nice look. And then to highlight your brow bone, you're just going to get the colour nylon, which I find is just a really good light colour. Choose this one here in my palette. Okay. I literally just want to take that and just blend that across. So you just highlight your brow bone. It's really simple. Okay. Um see how that looks. <laughs> okay, and then next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use Definer Lash, because obviously my hair is up. So I want my lashes to like just be a bit more visible rather than just being like, yeah, put eyeliner and mascara on. I like to see the definition and with Define a Lash it defines a lash. Yeah. So that's pretty simple. Do you just want to apply that top and bottom? And the good thing with this is it also in a way makes your harsh line that you've got with the black just it subtles it in a bit more. So it's not so gothic so to speak, but if that's what you want, go in. <laughs> apply that lovingly and if you want you can add another coat of it on I'm always very particular okay so yeah, just apply that on the top and bottom, and also don't forget to put on a bit of eyeliner as well, black eyeliner, it just sort of finishes off the look I'd say. And so this is just basically um, a simple blue look really, with a bit of grey smoke to it. Uh, with the lips, I'm using this middle central circle colour here, which is just a really funky colour. And on top of that, I'm using Barry M lip gloss. Okay, which just looks like this. Which is just a really funky red lip gloss colour by Barry M. Which is sort of coming off, you can't really see who it's by. I just use it, I think. So that's fine. So that looks pretty cool. And I quite like it, so it's just like a really nice, simple look without going too bold with the blue because obviously blue is generally quite a bold colour. So this one's just like a subtle blue with a bit of grey smoking out to get rid of the harsh lines and just add a bit more colour. So I hope you enjoy my look. Um, also another thing I'm going to be getting done is I think I've decided to go get my teeth done because I had the whole braces thing. The orthodontist I had got sacked because it was shit and all my bottom teeth are perfectly straight so I'm thinking I'm just going to pay out the money and sort of like get it sorted once and for all because they are pretty much straight just need a bit more work so yeah I'll let you know how that goes um, so thank you for watching my look I hope you've enjoyed this it's just like a really nice simple look to do so thanks a lot and uh, I will catch you guys later bye bye